Hey guys, David Nailbuster uh, here to show you how to start fresh, brand new install of Pinup System. Um, now, whether you want to use just Pinup Player or you want to use uh, Pinup Popper for the front end, uh, the first step in all that is you, you need to set up Pinup Player first, get that all working with pup packs uh, before uh, going with the uh, front end setup. So, um, what we're going to do is obviously before you try getting Pinup Player set up, uh, you want to make sure your VPX is all fully configured and running tables fine and you know you got all that working. Uh, and you also have to make sure that Freezy, uh, the Freezy DLL DMDX is all set up, the version 1.71 or newer. Uh, that has to be already set up. Your tables have to be you know set up to use external DMD and uh, you know, all the positioning for your freezy is all set up because all that stuff has to be done before you start working with or trying to use pup packs. Okay, uh, so let's start off. Um, what you're going to do is I just have um, so you no longer need to install VLC uh, beforehand, that's all handled before. So as long as you have freezy and your VPX up and running, uh, we can start with the uh, pinup player install. Um, now it's always good to triple check, go to the zip file you downloaded, make sure it's unblocked or use 7-zip, whichever you want, you wanna make sure it's unblocked. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in there and there's pinup player. Um, I'm just gonna grab everything from pinup player, copy all that. Okay, now where you wanna put it, it can go anywhere, but um, if you do have room on your C drive, it'll make life easier if you just make a standard Pinup system is the default, so I made the pinup system. You can put it on CD, you make it a subfolder if you need to, but if you want to do what almost everyone does, you want to do it on C colon pinup system. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste and let it do its thing. Um, again, also, you want to make sure you don't have any virus uh, set up because it may kill some of these or eat some of these EXEs. Uh, so you can keep any virus running and just put an exception to the pinup system and its subfolders or you can just let's say it's on your virtual pinball cab you really don't need any virus just slows it down for no reason uh, okay and let it do its thing all right so we have that going uh, once it's done you'll notice that there is a batch file it's important this pinup player register dot bat Okay, we're going to right click on that and we need to run as administrator. Don't just double click on it. You got to run as administrator and you got to say yes. And uh, it should pop up. Okay, so it comes up like this. Um, I know this is one screen, so I'll just move this off to the side here. Um, okay, so you'll notice here you, you just click here and you can see all the different pinup displays that need to be configured. Now I'm only running one screen in this in this virtual machine. So, um, uh, in essence, if you're using screens, like if let's say your topper is a whole screen, then you're best to use quick positions, right? And you'll have all your displays there. Just select the quick positions you want to do. Same with DMD and Blackass and Playfield. If those are all full screens, like you're going to take up the entire screen, just select which display to use and then come back in here. If you're gonna be doing like a split topper on one screen where it's a topper and DMD, then that's where you can you can click and drag anywhere. And so you can grab anywhere. And you'll notice these cool buttons. Like some here are like full, left to right. You can center. So if it's all, eh, we get centers. Uh, you can drag the outsides and the top and bottom. And so you got center up and down if you want. Uh, you know, in the center, left to right, uh, full screen. If you drag this onto another screen, you can go full screen, refresh video a couple of times and you should get that. Um, now important, you don't want to bleed. If you bleed, it's not good. Uh, you'll get like this warning and you should let it correct it or uh, you could just see, I say yes and it, it'll, it'll trim it to the right spot. But in general, you don't want to go above, below and that. Okay, and you just, as, as, when you move between it auto saves, um, everything else you should keep the same uh, as far as the rotation. Default state 
um, that's really what you want. Um, you know, uh, some some pup packs will say, okay, show it if it's there. So what you want your default state to be for topper is up to you. Uh, your default state for uh, your DMD is usually off because your game will do that. Backlash should be off um, depending on, you know, uh, well, sorry, backlash for pup packs, you want that to be on. Um, and whatnot. So uh, the other ones, the default stuff for like uh, music and stuff, all this stuff should be pretty easily already set up for you. Oh, there's something my topper layer is off. Okay, correct that, sure. Okay. Um, game info help. All right. And then we're, yeah, let's fix it. Okay. Uh, there. And we're good. No, well, let me just set my black glass so we could do something here. And then DMD and uh, topper. Let's put the topper below for now. All right, we're good. We save settings. And we exit. So now that we have that working, now there's, that's uh, the beginning stages of getting uh, the uh, pinup player working. Um, now there's two parts. We need to set up uh, the B2S driver. That's for, for uh, um, tables and whatnot. So you got to get the B2S driver working. So the, to get the B2S driver working, you see this folder here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit copy. Okay. Then you got to go where your B2S server is registered. Now, probably it'll be in your C colon visual pinball. And most people have it in tables where you registered the B2S. Now, normally if you had DOF already installed, you'd have a plugins folder here. But since there isn't any, you're going to have to create it yourself if you don't have one. So I'm going to call it plugins. It has to be called plugins, plural. And then we're going to go in there. So if it's already there, you just go into it. So it's the plugins is your subfolder for wherever your B2S is registered. And then you want to right click and you want to paste shortcut, not paste. It's easier to paste shortcut. It's easier to stuff. Uh, so in the future you can think, and what I'm going to do is just going to rename it just so, you know, let's call it just, uh, it doesn't matter, but we'll call it link. So we know it's a link. Um, that just makes a virtual link to the pinup system. But in general, it will be in your C Visual Pinball. If you go to Tables, Plugins, you'll have that there. Okay, so that will allow us to have uh, the B2S driver for Pup Packs. And then one more thing, we're going to go into our pinup system. And uh, we want to go into VPIN MAME. Now, these files have to go into the root of your VPIN MAME. So we're going to right click, we're going to copy. And we're going to go into C colon visual pinball vpin main and we're going to have to right click and paste in here okay once these are pasted there is a pup dmd control register up at you want to right click on that one and go run as administrator and it's just going to pop and do its thing you only have to do that once and it's there's no other setup for that now you already had your uh freezy set up already right so um you're going to have a dmd device.ini in the root of vpin main Okay, you're going to want to edit that with your text editor, notepad or whatnot. Now, again, you already had Freezy all set up. The only thing now you got to do is enable the to use pup when needed. And you'll have a pinup section. If you don't have a pinup section, you're not running the correct version of Freezy. So a pinup section and enabled equals false. You want to make sure that is set to true. And you file save. Okay, so we have the B2S driver. We have the Freezy uh, interface set up. And that's it. We're pretty much ready to uh, make sure we can run pup packs. Now I'm going to show you, let me just run uh, visual pinball and uh, a couple of things you want to make sure. So you realize what's happening. Uh, I'm going to just do X-Men. Uh, yeah, it's just telling me it's an older version. Okay, uh, so normally a table like X-Men, before you do the pup pack, you want to look at it and go, okay, so it's running, Freezy's running, it's all working fine. Uh, what we want to do is, uh, we got the Freezy, uh, we want to make sure you uh, go on any back glass, but let's just assume this is a black glass. You want to right click on it, and the B2S back glass server comes up. You want to make sure that activate plugins is checked, and that error messages without black uh, back glass say that a few times, uh, is unchecked. So active plugins, boom. Now when you do that, you're gonna have to hit save. You only gonna do this once and you can do it, it's global. So you wanna do it on one setting. And so uh, I know I'm just gonna hit F3. Um, it's just so that we can bring it up. 
And just to make sure your back glass is plugin is working, we right click on it again. And then we notice activate plugins, uh, plugin settings, let's just close. We're gonna have to restart the table. Alrighty, let's try it again. Hit play. Let's just make sure our back, our back glass plugin is active. Okay, is that good? Is it start? Okay, so I'm gonna right click on it. Okay, now we see the plugins is enabled. Also, active plugins. There, you hit plugins. It should come up, and it should say, "Look at that pinup player display active." You know that now you're halfway there. All right, so your back glass is working, and now you don't have to do this on every table. It's just a global setting that you want to activate plugins and make sure there's no error with no plugins. The other thing is, when you're on a table, you want to hit F1, and you want to make sure use external DMD is always set. That means you're going to be using Freezy. So if you're not using Freezy that's going to not work for you. So for pup catcher tables, you're going to have to make sure that use external DMT is checked. Okay. And now we're ready to try a pup pack. So I'm going to close. Um, we'll keep visual pinball open. Uh, so pup packs, they come in many different, you read the instructions from whatnot. And if I'm going to go, I have, okay. So I have one, um, you're going to download a zip and it's going to have usually the it's going to have the rom name this one's xmn underscore 151 you want to copy that okay now you want to go to where you installed your pinup player pinup system we did it so pup videos that's where all the roots going to be now you'll notice it already created one because we ran it once but we want to make sure that it is here in the root pup videos so since this is empty i'm just going to delete this one and we're going to go and we're going to paste and it's going to paste the pup pack here. If you double click on it, you'll notice that's how it works. Make sure it is not like XMN within XMN. It's just pup videos, the ROM name, and it has these three pup files or configuration to make sure your pup's working and you're ready. So now the other thing that's important is most, almost 99% of all pup packs, I'm going to go into the tables, do not require B2S. It's so you're going to have to either rename the B2S or just, I'm just going to cut it. And I make a folder here called back B2S or whatever you want to call it. Back B2S is, I'm just going to paste it. So there's no back, uh, B2S for this table. So X-Men, no B2S. We should be ready now to go and see if our pup pack starts. And we're going to hit play. Oh, and there's our back glass kicking in. That's the pup pack starting up. That's good. And did our table start up? Oh, yeah, there's our table. Let's see if, uh, come on, you can do it. Are you going to do it? Come on, you can do it. It might be slow in a virtual machine. The only thing I didn't, um, I didn't check yet is because there it is. There's the freezy. The freezy is taking a long time to start up. I don't know why, but it's again, uh, this is on a virtual machine. So there's the freezy that popped up. Um, so yeah, our table is, is, is working. The pup pack is coming up. It's really slow here. but So I just want to show you that that's how a pup pack works. And that pretty much tells you your pup player is working. Remember, you have to make sure it's external is set up. Now let's say something happens and your, your pup pack isn't starting up or whatnot. Let's see if I hit some. Uh, this is slow. Is there quarters in there? Come on. Cool. It's slow. This thing. Men, Magneto is attacking um, the UN summit. We mu we must stop him. Him. I'm gonna quit. So let's say something didn't come up and your pup back didn't start up or whatnot. Um, one thing you want to check, okay, is you want to go into your uh, V pin meme. So on your C visual pinball V pin meme, you want to date modify to the fast way. You want to look at puplog.txt. If there's no puplog.txt, you either didn't set the external or you didn't have the proper freezy or the DMD device not set up to work with pup or something's blocked. But puplog.txt will tell you game started. You want to make sure number of images shows you that it's starting up. So that's common uh, reason why a pup pack didn't start up. Sometimes you're like, hey, a topper is showing or a topper is missing or whatnot. Uh, the other last item for pinup player is we have pinup pack editor. And you want to load that up and uh, in the select, we only have one here, but you can load this up and that shows us it's the X-Men ROM. And sometimes show means it'll use whatever your default setting is, but sometimes you want to force it on 
or you want to you can force it uh, you can just shut it off all right if you want that's up to you all the other stuff that's all advanced stuff we can talk about but you'll notice sometimes they tell you to turn stuff on and off on and off that you do that here in the scenes and then you hit save and that's it so now you're ready your pinup player is working you tested a pack up it's all perfect your screens are all set up if you ever need to reconfigure the screens again there's a pinup player config.bat file you double click on that one they'll come up again um, and that's it for now uh, you're now ready to go on to the next video where you can set up pinup popper which is goes on top of the pinup system player and you're good to go all right bye bye